what's good y'all it's been a bit since i uploaded a video i'm gonna start uploading again more consistently ease ease into things with that hope y'all staying safe with quarantine and all that jazz but besides that let's get right to it Tory Lanez just recently dropped a new Toronto 3 solid mixtape by the way if you haven't checked it out go check it out of course and besides that besides the actual album and music we have fan bases regular haters all that talking about his sale projections which I never post or care about anymore just because it could fluctuate so much um, take a look back at chance the big day projected a sell over 130 50 thousand first week debut at number one and we all know we all know what happened he got bit out by nf early chance anyhow so when it comes to sale projection of first week numbers i never get too deep into them they really don't matter to a certain extent depending who you are but besides that he's projected to get 60 to 70k first week there's people bashing us saying, oh, you know, all that noise you're making with quarantine radio, breaking live numbers and TikTok, and you're not even hitting 100K first week. Oh, I think 60, 70K independent, assuming he gets that, is an amazing number for who he is. He's going to be getting 100% of the revenue. He's not going to be having to split it with label after label, no 360 deal, none of that. I don't know his what his past deal was, but... Having 60, 70 K first week and you're independent, that's all going to you compared to 300 K, but you have a label taking all the money, way better, way better. Not only that, but it isn't just about the first week and then after that it's like, all right, it doesn't matter anymore. It's what you do the second week, the third week, fourth week, so on and so forth. There's no point in focusing on the, that short span of time when you can be consistently selling as long as you're feeding your core fan base, you're pushing out quality, there's always going to be a steady amount of streams and sales from fam from fam from fans look at young thug with so much fun 150 plus first week you know large first week but consistently after that second third fourth fifth weeks easily over 50k plus for a good bit and a 40 for 50 and then it will spike up and down those are the type of numbers you want to look for of course it might not be as high as young thug but as long as he has his core fan base checking it out every week that's what really matters of course getting the income from that independent you really can't compare that he's not stressing about no label we're getting good music at the end of the day the numbers really don't matter and with that i guess that was just my two cents for this video be a, be on the lookout in the future for more and that's something that was just been in my head and i'll catch y'all later